This video is a comparison. I'm going to be comparing Gen 3 and Luma and Kling and a couple of other surprises as well. So when Runway released the sample images for Gen 3, it was really, really exciting. And they very helpfully on their website included the prompts that went along with these sample videos. And so I thought, uh, let's use those prompts as a frame of reference, a benchmark, if you will, to test against other video tools. I've made a video about that already, comparing it to a bunch of video tools. Well, this is the update because now we all have access to Gen 3. And I've been playing around with Kling as well because that's just burst onto the market. And of course, Kling has come along as the new challenger and Luma I've been playing with. It's, it's, it's hard to keep up. Now, if you want to cut to the chase, you can go right to the very end of this video where I'm showing all the comparisons in one screen. So if you really can't be bothered watching all this, just go in the chapters down at the bottom here and zzz, right to the end. But if you're a little more interested in the details and the nuances, stick around. So first, um, Kling only does does five seconds and they're low quality but that'll change by the time we've uploaded this video probably so first it's the train shot and um I, the quality is great despite the woman who's stuck to the outside of the train <laughs> um the uh Rio, the astronaut in rio de janeiro um you can draw your own call your own conclusions on the quality there and then the ant what kind of ant is coming out of that hole in that ant hill that's a that's a fox or a badger <laughs> or a scary ant, but it never really emerges. The monster thing's interesting. Um, these monsters have all been interesting in the comparisons, but the quality is obviously not quite up to it. The woman driving, the quality is really, really impressive, actually. Uh, very comparative. The performance artist, uh, Runway's the winner here, but still, the, still impressive stuff. And a lot of this, if it hadn't been for this latest generation of stuff coming out, we would have been very, very impressed. So on to uh, Gen 3 and Luma and Kling. Honestly, if it weren't for the woman stick sitting on the outside of the train, some very, very impressive results. Still stunningly impressive compared to how video was just a, f just a few months ago. Um, again, you've got some very, very similar levels of impressive results, but um, Runway still winning. The um, the cling version of this ant hill didn't manage to pull back or move very much, and there was certainly no sign of an ant. And then um, again, the monster shot runway is still coming out as the uh, the most impressive out of these monster shots um, with cling and luma. Now the, again, the woman driving um, this is where luma didn't do quite so well, but again compared to the other two, compared to runway and cling. And this is the, <laughs> with Luma, I had to s extend by another five seconds to get any kind of motion in that one. Now, moving on to Kling versus Kling versus Kling. Kling has a creativity and relevance slider. So I thought, well, what will that look like if I change that? So I took the original video that was, but the default setting is 0 0.5. And I thought, well, let's look at 0 0.1 and 0 0.9, you know, t close to the extremes and see what they're looking like. And this gives us this. And to be honest, you can't tell much of a difference apart from 0, 09 um, is doing some funky stuff. But to be honest, it's quite subjective. You could pick holes in them, but I, I didn't find any of these to be that dramatically different that there'd be a clear reason to change the setting from 0 0.5, apart from the train. That was weird. <laughs> and the monster, similarly, not so wildly different. On to Runway versus Runway. And this was interesting because this is where I thought oh, let's try typing the promo video prompts into my Runway account to see uh, how similar mine are. And we're looking at this. Um, like the, the train shot, it looks like the same woman, but she's just left the station. Uh, impressive. The, <laughs> the the astronaut, great quality, although he, you've got the um, the visor is around the back of his head. So I don't know whether his helmet's on backwards, but the ant shot looked really, really good. That was very, very similar quality level. And to be honest, compared to all the others, this one is the only one that's got an ant and the pulling back. And similarly, the uh, the monster shot uh, looked a similar level of quality. If I was comparing my version to the others, I'd still think that it was winning. You've got some problems with the woman in the car. You know, the water on the side of the window is much bigger than it should be. And she's looking out the car window, so she's not exactly driving. 
Um, and the, I mean, this singer, okay, so the stem from her microphone stand is missing, but that aside, still very, very impressive quality. I have to say that the runway results have been the best quality from that particular test, but um, there's more to it than that. I actually just canceled my runway subscription today. And my reason is this, I think you know where I'm going to go with this. The amount of freebies that you get with Luma is impressive. It's like 30 a month, 30 gen video generations. Kling is giving you six per day. Oh, that's really impressive. And Runway, I ran out of six. I think I burned through six with my, my standard subscription of like $10 a month or whatever it was. And so at this stage, whilst we're all still trying to figure out how to use these tools accurately, it's like a toddler who's still learning to walk, who's being charged money to go down to the running track. And that's how I feel at the moment. I'm sticking with the free versions until I know which way is up. That said, this stuff changes so fast. Like just before I hit record on this, I just found out that Runway has just introduced image to video. So they've upgraded already. Anyway, this is the final little comparison. And I'm going to just leave this playing with some plinky plonky elevator music while you watch through all four combined of my version, Gen 3's own marketing team's version, and then Kling and then Luma. And flipping it in a couple of weeks, what's it going to be next? Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Bless her heart, she didn't want to interrupt me filming. And I just saw her in the corner spraying the door sockets with sun protection factor 30. She didn't, she thought that the door was squeaking. So she found the only lube she could find, which was suntan spray. <laughs> We've got WD-40 on the shelf, but she didn't want to interrupt me. She's such a sweetheart. Okay, I'm done filming. Oh, well done. I just told everybody about your, um, your, 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 your quick solution on the, um, uh, for the door and tell me what was it you had in mind with that? Uh, well, did I you think it was going to work like WD-40? Well, it did because I was like, it was still greasy. I'll do the job. Sometimes I oil. <laughs> 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 and I didn't want to interrupt you because you needed to get on and do the new filming. Bit so that he can go to bed. That's right. Yeah. There he is. Careful, we were filming. I am, Mr. Splashy Splashy. No man bits. Yeah, he can go to bed now.